Okay, let's start. Good morning. Um, I'm Tong So, professor in uh, Computational Metallurgy Laboratory in the JFT, and nice to meet you in this class of the patch transformation. Uh, my office is located in second floor, and if you have any question or something to ask me on the uh, course, uh, please do not hesitate to uh, visit my office. Okay. Now first, I would like to check the attendance to be familiar with your face and your name. And Kim min -soo. Jo ki -hun. Yeah. Kim Duk Jung, yeah. Kang Duk Gu, <coughs> Yoo Jun, yeah. Shu Bang, yeah. Arkan, Kim Jong In, yeah. Che Won Seok, <coughs> Kim Sang Hoon, yeah. Song Yeon Jae. Fan, Dong, Tamang, Kwonsok. Is there anyone who did not register course but uh, want to attend the course? Okay. After the class, write down your name on this sheet. Okay, this uh, class is scheduled to uh, be done about uh, 75 minutes, but I'd like to uh, complete one, uh, one time in uh, around 15 minutes. And I reserve other time for discussion on Friday in, uh, from the 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. And at that time, uh, you can freely visit my office and ask any question on the lectures, okay? Today I briefly introduce uh, the course description and the content of the course uh, you learned about one semester. And uh, also I tell you how uh, I mark your grade. The objective of this class, this, actually this class is designed uh, for you to obtain some knowledge of the page transformation. In particular, uh, you know that the, there is two kinds of page, trans page transformation. One is reconstructive one, and the other is uh, displacive one. In other words, diffusion controlled and uh, non-diffusion controlled. So both uh, you will learn about uh, the mechanism of the both of the uh, page transformation in particular occurs in ferrous alloy. And if we have some times, I will, uh, I'd like to talk about the principle of the uh, microstructural control in various modern steel product. If you have some knowledge on the crystal structures or the microstructure, the uh, ferrous alloy, it will be beneficial for you to understand the content of uh, the course, but that is not the necessary one. What I mean is that uh, during the course, we can uh, fully discuss about this kind of matter, so I think you do not worry about if you do not have any background on that kind of crystallography or microstructure of steel. The class will be divided into three big major parts. One is uh, basic thermodynamics and diffusion theory to understand the various phenomena occurred in the transformation in ferrous alloy. And second part will be diffusional page transformation, which include uh, such kind of protectoid ferrite and polite uh, transformation, which requires 
the diffusion of interstitial or substitutional lower element. And then we move to the uh, theory on the Martensitic transformation, which describe the displacive transformation occurs in the ferrous alloy. In particular, when we handle the transformation occurs in the Martensite or Bainite, we will learn about the phenomenological theory of the Martensite uh, transformation, which mathematically beautifully describe the transformation. And also, we, if we have some time, usually we do not have some time to deal with the a final subject, but if we have some time, I would like to handle a briefly touch about the concept of the microstructure control even in modern uh, uh, alloy product in ferrous steel. Okay? I think the most of the students will be interested in how the evaluation process will be. And uh, I will check the attendance in the class, not regularly, but sometimes. So if you are unfortunately absent that class, that will uh, not be good for your um, grade. But I hope you do not worry about that. And sometimes I will give you some problem set, uh, which you submit in uh, designated date, so uh, the percentage of the homework is 30%. And usually we have one final examination. So if you want, I will divide it in two, and uh, I hope your opinion on the number of the examination uh, which uh, you should took, take during the semester. Anyone who want the midterm examination? No? Okay. Then we will have one final uh, examination. And, but you have to remember that if you want just one examination, the range of the, uh, the range which you have to study will very wide and you sometimes I, I know that some students feel some difficulty in preparing the examination but it's your choice okay there is no uh, uh, fixed textbook I pick up various subject from here from there and make some uh, uh, lecture note and I will upload uh, lecture note on the POVIS E class. So please check the E class before you come to the classroom. And I think it's better to print out the uh, lecture material before you attend the class. And there are some, uh, but there are some books I usually recommend for reading. And uh, you can see that. The stairs written by Professor Harry Badesia, who is the director for professor in, the, uh, in our laboratory, and some books on Bainite and press transformation. That, this, kind, this book is quite a good book, uh, very classical and, uh, how can I say, very easy to read. And there are some uh, good textbooks on the phenomenological theory of the Martin Cetic transformation. Uh, and the Geometrical Crystal written by Herbadesha. I recommend this book to understand the basic theory underlying the Martin Cetic transformation. Actually, I studied this book myself when I was in other institute, and this book is quite good to read by yourself. And there are many examples which help you to understand Actually, the phenomenological theory of Martin City transformation is very abstract. So, handle many problems, so to, uh, solving many problems will help you to get some concept on that uh, phenomena. Okay?
Okay, this is the last slide. And if you have any question on the course, please raise your hand and No question? Okay, then it indicates my explanation is, was perfect on the description of the course. Okay, then see you on Thursday. <laughs>